headed up river into the sand and gravel company. And where that boat is back there is where I launched. I have a pain in the butt. I'm uh, south of the Vasco Bridge by probably half a mile, three quarters of a mile. And that's what's known as the 21st Street Bridge, Kansas Avenue Bridge. Probably got another name, but I forget it. We always call it 21st Street Bridge. 21st Street becomes Kansas Avenue. So, I don't know if those freighters come in here to offload unload some of this gravel. I don't really see a way of doing that. So we're going to head up and look around the island a little bit. There's a couple kayakers out. A little bit windy. I had to put the board down, the center board down, to get a little bit more steerage so I wasn't just pivoting on the stern. I, but uh, every once in a while I'm getting a little more protection from the trees now. This old tug's been over here for a long time. I don't know if it appears that it still floats. I've never seen it go anywhere. There's the kayakers, if you can see them. And 21st Street Bridge. I was going to pair a motor under this at one point. It might have been a little risky. Probably not anymore. I think that's Republic Steel. No, no, or United States Steel. I can't tell. Steel. They may be more to the, to the start line, to the right. To the west. Good amount of sight. I said these are the blast furnaces. That's probably coal piled up there. And that would go over the coke ovens. And this is where the pig iron would be made. They would offload to what they call submarine labels, ladles. They look like big footballs. Uh, they weigh about a hundred tons. Fire brick lined uh, railroad cars. State University worked in a railroad shop and uh, repaired rail cars, went out for derailments, did uh, lot, lots of stuff. Got put on track cleanup the first uh, two days and went in and told Jack Justice was his name. Went in and said, Well, I'm done. Done. He sent somebody out to look and he came back in and was, oh, was the best job anybody's ever done. So I guess you're here for the summer. You try, you're trying to get with <laughs> thing or just testing me. He offered me a job. He said, you don't have to go back to school, we'll offer you a job. I said, no. I, I bucked hot rivets while I was there too. And I just I could do the work, which just wasn't for me. From the, the pig iron then goes over to the uh, basic oxygen bop shop, basic oxygen processing. And that's where they add chromium, nickel, all the other stuff, the coke, whatever, to get the proper mixture. And uh, what came out of there then went over to the rolling mills. Because this was a, basically you got bar stock and round stock that came out of here. Welded tube, seamless tube. It's amazing to watch that being made. I should add that this is shut down now because we buy cheap Chinese steel. Put our own citizens out of work to save a few bucks. We're really in a wind shadow here. This is the lower Black River restoration project in here. 
there's walking trails I don't think they start yet but they're up above you're not allowed to come down in here walking you have to stay on the trails and there's this, I don't know if those are slag piles those might be slag piles up there I don't think it's coal but it's awful dark but we'll take some shots of some reclaimed areas where they've uh, gone in there with heavy machinery and moved things around and uh, replanted it with grass. There's some logs up here I gotta watch out for. I believe we are approaching the island here. So buoy in the water there it probably says obstructions. I've been all around it with my kayak. That was gosh seven years ago. Letting the boat just drift with the wind. So we're going to probably take a left hand turn up here. I've got the tiller in the center board down but unlocked. We'll go back in there. And it's essentially a bird sanctuary this little island. It's just full of blue herons and several other types of birds that I probably don't know the name of. And it's hard with this camera to film you know, blue herons. I've already scared three of them out. I, I, I hang around too long. They're used to the boats with motors. They can see them and hear them and they come and go. I just probably a little strange looking. Everybody who sees the boat goes, oh! That's really cool. I've never seen one of those. Yeah, this is the island. I'm pretty sure I can make it in there. I'm pretty wide, but I see some wood already. But we'll uh, see what we can do. Well, there's the outlet. I've already come out and took a 180. I thought about tying off here, but I think I'm going to go up. got myself tied off to a log. Of course I had to go bang into one first. <laughs> well, it's wood on wood. It just goes bang. I'll sit here for an hour or so. Mostly oak trees, so subtle colors. And again, the steel mill is still over there. All that property, and you can, I don't know if you can see, but they started benching it up. And up and beyond there, you can't see. I'd have to go down River Moor, and I don't know if I want to do that. I might have enough battery, but I don't want to risk it. Time to eat. Well, silly me, I took the rice and the spaghetti off the boat. So I guess I'm just going to have beans and tuna fish with tomato sauce, which should be okay. The stove will really put the heat out. And <coughs> then we'll just have a nice slow trip home. What was I filming there? <laughs> uh -huh. Here's the hatch up. I don't have the, any of the panels in. I left the front hatch closed because it was just the bugs and the, and the leaves were just blowing in. So we just have this for now. Headed back. The wind is quite gusty. I had to unlock my 
tiller to get a little bit more steerage. Well, what is it, November 8th today? Days are short. It would have been nice to have just relaxed here for a couple hours, but I'm against the wind on the way back. kind of headed out and enjoy a slow ride back. We'll probably have to use at least two to maintain the steerage. When there's no wind I go down to one. I was actually coasting downwind on the way here in some spots. Back to the 21st Street Bridge. There goes a heron. I don't know if you can see him or not. That's probably about the eighth one. They're all over. He's slowly making my way back. It started to cool off already. It's that fall weather. be an adventure if I run out of battery, but that's part of the thrill. Well, I ran out of battery, <laughs> and these gentlemen are going to help me in. There was just more wind today than I had thought, and that was just, uh, I had to run it on high to get steerage into the wind, because the, the, the trivaran has a, quite a bit of windage, and it's once it gets off the wind, you've got to have some speed in order to have any uh, <clears throat> steerage. So, I almost made it. If I'd have made it up here to the corner, I would have uh, gone ahead and paddled in, but I didn't know if I could paddle against that wind. So, when these fellows offered, I said, yeah, I'll take a photo. How embarrassing. 